In Gloucestershire, there's an exceptional farm building which provides a perfect home for a colony of mice. It's a grain store with tons of oats, wheat and barley, a sort of muesli mountain for mice. The farmer has called in Dave the Verminator. You can feed every mouse in the world probably for a year while what's in this one grain store. Dave has no doubt who the enemy are, and he starts by checking the traps and bait boxes he laid only a few hours ago. There we are. Oh, there'll be hundreds in here. You don't see them as, uh, as much, but th there'll be plenty in here. I mean, that, that tray of bait there, that was a, a fresh tray yesterday afternoon. As you can see, they've, uh, they've had a fair old go at it, and we've caught a couple on the way. You can see the extent of the problem. You see these, these black marks here. It may not be obvious, but to Dave, it's quite clear what's been going on. That's where the mice run up the corner and, and over, over time the grease comes off of their fur and the dirt and you get these black marks where they travel all the time. This is a motorway, an M1 for mice. People don't realise how easy it is for mice to climb walls, but I mean that, that to a mouse is like a staircase. What are we on? We're on three. Let's see if we can find some more. Because you've got a big grain dryer and what have you in here, you've got a lot of uh, high voltage stuff. You do not need mice getting into, um, into the high voltage stuff and chewing the wires, because if they, they do that, then you're going to have serious problems. Another one. That's four. Almost every trap has claimed a victim. There are hundreds, maybe even thousands of mice eating, sleeping and breeding in this barn, but not a single living one in sight. So where are they? These buildings are usually made of concrete blocks, which are hollow, of course, which is fine as long as they're capped off. But when they put these conduits in, of course, they make a, they make a bigger void in there, like a block of flats. You can have hundreds of mice living in a wall like this. If Dave has found so many bodies in the outer rooms of the grain store, what will he find within? Back at the farm in Gloucestershire, Dave the Verminator enters the grain barn and is nearing the end of the great mouse hunt. If you can get a pen into a, into a gap and it's a little, and a bit wider, then a mouse can get in there. As long as it can get its head through, the rest of it's pretty pretty flexible and they'll sort of they'll get into the gaps. I mean there's there's ample room in here as you can see. And once they get into there, then they can get into the blocks, this chaff. That's, I mean, that's good nesting material for them. They'll drag that in there and uh, make a nice cosy nest. Don't have to go far to the shops. He's got a mountain to climb, but it'll be worth it in the end. There you go, there's some down there now. Three adults, about one about half grown, and a nest of uh, what we call in the trade pinkies, which are about probably a sort of five, five, five to seven days old. So. They won't be reaching adulthood, let's put it that way. <laughs> That's the hole that they, they're using. Right, just big enough for me to get my finger in. There's not going to be any point in putting a trap there because there's several down in this column. So what we'll do, we'll just, uh, we'll just top this bait up in a few days. They won't be feeling very chipper. Dave leaves enough poison to make sure that the mice aren't tempted back to their perfect country home. Back in the day, I'll too, have a look. 